Hello guys, well, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm bringing you a Tomori FC 24 Centurions player review. 86 rated centre back, 6 foot 1, medium high on the work rates, fantastic, 2 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, right footed and controlled length fee. This card looks like something else. This gold card is incredible, so I'm hoping this one is as well. Can only play centre back as most centre backs can only play. Um, no surprises there. Syria and English. 81 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, and overall 87 pace. Only 43 on the shooting, doesn't matter. He's a defender. 62 on the passing, but he has got 77 short pass, which is decent. 68 dribbling. However, the main stats for a defender, as far as dribbling goes, are agility and balance, and they are. The two of the higher ones there with reactions and composure. It's just the dribbling and ball control. And then 88 defender with 92 standing tackle, 88 defensive awareness, 84 sliding, 85 end accuracy, 87 interceptions. I can go on and on there. 84 for the physical with 86 strength, 80, or 94 for the jumping and 85 aggression. I mean, this card looks cracked. It looks insane. 87 pace with 88 defending. It's got the jockey, block and the slide tackle. Let's get in some game. All right, so we've got Tomore here playing as the centre-back, controlling him there, number 18. You know, I always say when I'm reviewing a defender, I try and invite pressure on me um, so that we can fully try out this, the defenders. Now, we are 1-0 down, nothing to do with Tomore. He was in no uh, fault um, for that goal, but, yeah, I'm trying to sort of invite pressure. Now that we're 1-0 down, maybe not as much, but, uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. This is my first game with him, I think this was. Um, so hopefully he's decent. I mean, his gold card still goes for quite a lot, which is why Centurion's card is worth an absolute fortune and uh, I'm not surprised because the stats on the card look fantastic unfortunately he is up against Diani here who kind of makes him look like a clown um, but to be honest Diani does that to everyone and this guy's team in general is very very good um, so I wouldn't be surprised if we struggle here um, I think this was my first game moving up a division as well um, but yeah, let's see what we got from Tomore. I mean, I want to test out everything about him. His passing, um, his dribbling. I mean, more so the agility and balance to make sure that he turns all right. Um, and then obviously his pace, his defending, his physical, which I have no doubt that they should be good. According to the card, they're very, very good. So I have no doubt that they will be. Um, but here he is. I guess I'm controlling him now. Um, Diani on the ball again. Let's just track the run here because um, you know he's going to go for that pass. There we go. And good header. I don't know if that was... Um, Tomore or his um, his card um, that managed to actually head of that by it caused no no danger so that's good and that was on Tomore to do so his turning feels a little bit weird like he's just been done there and that led to the goal um, which is a shame that's not <laughs> not what you want at all when you're playing with a centre back um, for him to be the one to lead to the goal and I don't know what that was that wasn't a pass that was just his touch I have no idea what that was all about um, but there he is on the ball I mean just being out muscled by Enzo I'm not having a good time with this card, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. So hopefully in the next few games that I play with him, uh, I don't know what that was all about. This game just in general I think was a mess. Um, so hopefully in the next few games that I play with him, um, he will actually end up being a decent player for me. But yeah, I don't know, really know what was going on here with him or in this game in general. It just looked like my players were just off. Um, I know that there's that fix, the EA fixes in um, and all that, that scripting and stuff. I don't believe that, but that was a good, good tackle there. Um, and unfortunately it didn't actually end up sort of benefiting me at all but as you can see this guy is literally all over me um, I know I said I like to invite pressure but this is getting a little bit ridiculous now um, and Tomore I don't know if he's done as well as what you would expect him to do um, I think his strength seems pretty good like his actual stand and tackle seems good it's just him trying to get into that position has not been the best I should have chipped through ball that that, that was on all day I don't know what that ball was in the end there um, but yeah I don't know if it's just that uh, the the opponent is a very good player and got a very good squad obviously Diani's uh, one of the better players but there's Tomori good defensive awareness manages in a tight angle to get the pass away as well and find the player so that's really I'm impressed with that sort of thing that's what he is good at um, it's just I don't know there's just little things but maybe it's just a one-off in this game and uh, and I'm hoping that he's good in other games so let's get back into the in-game stats and uh, and we'll see if I think that he was worth it in the other game all right, so we've got Tomore there. Oh, it's a weird one. Very, very strange. In the other games that I played with him, he was a little bit better. 87 pace. He did feel very fast. In a foot race, he felt fast. He was catching up to most strikers, so I'm going to leave that as is. Shooting didn't have an opportunity to shoot, so don't need to touch the shooting. He's a defender anyway. It doesn't matter. He's 60 shot power. I mean, that's literally the best stat on there. 35 finishing. It's ridiculous. 62 for the passing. Honestly, it felt better than 62. 62 is like 
pretty bad that means that only for me that means 60 percent of his passes hit and 40 don't um, i'm going to bring that passing up to a 70 i think this passing wasn't great but it wasn't 62 um 68 for the dribbling honestly i wanted this to be increased his agility and balance felt a little bit slow to me he felt like he was sort of a little bit hard to navigate sometimes he was sort of shooting off a bit further than what you would want and that sort of thing when jockeying so i don't know i can't increase that However, 88 defending, he was in the correct place all the time. That defensive awareness was on point. The standing tackle when he was in the good positions was on point as well. It's just a jockey in there. And he's got the jockey play style, which is what I didn't understand. And an 84 for the physical. Honestly, his physical was fantastic. His strength was brilliant. Um, everything like that was amazing. So like his actual defensive side of things were top, top notch. He could definitely be considered as being one of the best centre-backs in the game as far as that goes. But the agility and balance for me does hurt the card a little bit he's going for such an expensive price tag i can't justify it i think that you might as well just stick with his gold card i don't think that the difference is enough to to boost it up to this card so hopefully you did like the video if you did please do give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button for more videos like this there will be a link in the description with a lot of afc 24 player reviews as always guys thank you for watching bye bye